Williams of Wilson, an enchanted restaurant in the heart of downtown. We feature fresh and house-made items such as our pork and vegetable-filled wontons and our one-of-a-kind cheesesteak egg rolls. Our Cuban sandwich with house-made pickles is a local favorite. Or stop in for dinner and enjoy our pan-seared duck breast with scallops. Whether it's lunch or dinner, think Williams of Wilson for that next wonderful meal. Fine food, spirits, and a good time await you at Williams of Wilson, 124 Barn Street, Wilson. Ann's Donuts serves the best donuts in town because we fix them the old-fashioned way. From cream cheese filled to our famous chocolate glazed, Ann's Donuts are second to none. But Ann's is also a specialty baker. Wedding cakes, birthday cakes, ice cream cakes, custom design for your event. You must also visit our gift shop filled with gifts and holiday decor for your home and office. We have scarves, jewelry pocketbooks, holiday wreaths, and more. Come see us for your next sweet treat. Ann's Donuts, serving our area since 1952. The best kept secret in town is the Chew and Chat Cafe, classic southern cooking with style. Start your day right at Chew and Chat Cafe with a plate of eggs cooked your way or with our infamous hobo breakfast sandwich or make the Chew and Chat your regular spot. Our daily specials and homemade recipes are one of a kind with prices that can't be beat. From our hand patty burgers to our homemade chicken pot pie, shrimp creole, and pimento cheese, Chew and Chat is sure to be a great meal. And Friday night is fish night featuring fried flounder, trout, and catfish and our homemade banana pudding. We use local ingredients and cook everything fresh to order. So stop waiting and head on down to Chew and Chat Cafe, 1005 West Mount Drive in Rocky Mountain, or call us about catering your next event. Open Monday through Saturday, 6 a.m. to 2 p.m., and Wednesday through Friday for dinner starting at 5. Chew and Chat Cafe, classic Southern cooking with style. Hi everyone and welcome into Blue Plate Special. I'm your host Andrew Breedlove and we're here today in the heart of downtown Wilson at Williams of Wilson, one of the great new eateries here in downtown Wilson. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna talk to the chef Robbie as well as Bill, the owner, and we're gonna find out what they have going on. They've got some great food here, so make sure you head on down to Williams of Wilson. Let's go inside and see what they have going on. magic happens at Williams of Wilson. We're back in the kitchen where all of the house-made uh, recipes come together and we're here with uh, Chef Robbie. And yes, Robbie, sir. you're going to be putting together uh, Williams of Wilson's famous chicken cordon bleu. Yes, sir, Andrew. It's uh, We start out with a six ounce uh, chicken breast okay. and we do make everything. We, we make everything that we, that we possibly can. Here are all the sauces and everything that you'll see is uh, made right back here in this small uh, kitchen. And we just start off uh, with a uh, boneless chicken breast that we have butterflied, mm -hmm. which is just taking the breast. It starts out like that. Mm -hmm. And then just take a sharp knife and run it through the middle of the, of the breast. And that's something that's really easy to do. And it's a, it's a it great is. way to, you know, get a look, feel like you're getting a little bit bigger piece of chicken, spread it out. It's great if you're putting it on a sandwich too. Right. And if you're, if you want to, you can go to the point of pounding it out, mm -hmm. but we have found out that it's not necessary. Uh, to do it with the size breast that we mm -hmm. use, but sometimes when you buy the breast from the uh, grocery store, it can be really large. Yeah, absolutely. And so then you would want to pound, pound mm -hmm. it out. And then we start with just a slice of Swiss cheese. And of course, chicken cordon bleu is sort of a classic French recipe. It is. Uh, stuffed, stuffed chicken, cheese, that's what you think about when you think of chicken cordon bleu. Right, and we've taken it, uh, a lot of people will just do it with the Swiss cheese and then just a slice mm -hmm. of ham. Mm -hmm. And we've taken it a little bit further than that. Uh, we use a, a ham uh, with an herb cheese, uh, mm -hmm. like a borzen cheese, mm -hmm. uh, with it sometimes. And we add a little bit more herbs uh, to that, fresh herbs, thyme, uh, some garlic, um, onion, mm -hmm. uh, to that. But again, like I said, a lot of times you'll see it and it's just a slice of ham. So in you're there. injecting a little bit more of those flavors. A to little go more well flavor. With pork and chicken into the chicken. Right. Yeah, you're, like I said, your typical cordon bleu is just Swiss mm -hmm. chicken mm -hmm. and, and ham. I've never thought about that. You know, traditionally you do see just ham, but this you're finding in with time. Time goes well again with ham, goes well with chicken, and uh, when it gets in with that cheese, uh, it just really is going to make it all all stand together. 
This is the finished, well, not the finished product, but then you, you take your skewers mm -hmm. and you sort of do it like you're sewing uh, to just seal up the, the ends. Mm -hmm. Correct. So you've got the breadcrumbs on now. I can tell it's more than just breadcrumbs in that bowl. We put, we add some herbs to mm -hmm. it, um, salt and pepper. And that again and adds another layer of flavor. A flavor to it. Yeah, it absolutely. Does. All right, so we're going to drop this in the fryer for a couple of minutes. Correct. And I'm going to set the timer. Just... I always tell all the new guys the timer is your friend. And now, are you looking for a particular color here, or like you said, you're just getting it started? But this is just getting it started, okay. but you do want it. Um, I mean, you want, you know, you are looking for mm -hmm. color. And after it comes out of the fryer for two and a half minutes, then we put it in the oven. And okay. we've already done this process when, so when the ticket comes in, the order comes in, the um, saute chef down here will go ahead and put it in the mm -hmm. oven because it takes a little long to, yeah. do, to do that. And then it goes. And it's got a really nice color oven. after taking it out of the, out of the fryer. It, it does. So, and we're just going to finish that off in the oven. And again, and that's, that's quicker mm -hmm. and for, you know, like I said, for speed. Uh, we try to go ahead and take as many seconds out yeah, of the absolutely. preparation as we can by doing having things ready ahead. And now, what's that served with again? Uh, it comes with a mustard, uh, I'm sorry, the mustard sauce. And then it also comes with, a, you can get your choice of starch, of rice pilaf, roasted potatoes, mashed potatoes, and then whatever our vegetable of the day. And it's all made here, folks. The, the sauces, everything that you've seen is made here. Uh, so is. you need to come down and check this out. The Chicken Cordon Bleu at Williams & Wilson. All right, Robbie, we've Thank seen the, the cordon bleu, and I mean, it looks great, smells great. You also have something else that's a little unique to Wilson, and you have uh, homemade wontons. Correct. We do, and um, I'm going to show you the vegetable wontons. We also okay. do the pork wontons, and then using the same wrap, this is one of the few items that we do not make here, uh, but I've always said part of being a good chef is recognizing a good product and using it to your <laughs> advantage. Uh, and so that's what we do here. We use it with three different um, items, actually. Um, and so with our veggie wontons, and we, like I said, we are starting with a, a wrap that we buy. All right, so Robbie, what, what, what are wonton wrappers made out of? Okay, well, to um, explain it to you for a, a Southern um, home, <laughs> it is very close to your um, chicken and pastry. Okay, all right. It's, it's, very, it's, it's mainly, it's just water, a little bit of mm -hmm. uh, oil or some kind of shortening, not a lot, um, and flour. Yeah, you so just a very versatile, very versatile ingredient. Correct. And um, so like I said, we, are, we do buy those, but we, the um, filling that goes inside is all fresh veggies. I saw you um, over here when we came in, you were putting it all together and it, it looks great. What do you, what do you put in uh, your, your, your mixture here? We use carrots, celery, some green pepper, um, onions. Okay. And then we again we use fresh herbs mm -hmm. uh, in it, parsley. Thyme. We're really you know big on thyme and basil Absolutely. and rosemary and um, nice, uh, parsley. Ar aromatic uh, herbs that really bring out flavors and it does. And, and, and you know let you know what you're eating. And uh, a rule of thumb is when you're using fresh herbs, you use more than of those than you do. Like if you use a teaspoon of dry mm -hmm. herbs, you would want to use about two teaspoons of your fresh mm -hmm. herbs. Mm -hmm. And then we also use uh, put our Mornay sauce in it. And the Mornay sauce Ooh. is smoked Gouda mm -hmm. cheese, uh, Swiss cheese, cheddar cheese, and with cream and butter. You love to use cheese here. We do. You know, we use cheese in a lot of we, things. We do. The smoked Gouda is what's, what really brings, uh -huh. brings uh -huh. it out. Absolutely. And we also use the um, herb borzen. Okay. And that same cheese sauce, again, we try to use things as much as we can in, in our recipes, but that's what we use in our homemade macaroni and cheese. Mm. And you just saw this, saute this until your veggies are mm -hmm. um, soft. And now the key when you're doing something like this is not to overfill it. Correct. I know. Because you don't want the filling to come out. Uh -huh. You also have to be careful with your wrapper mm -hmm. uh, because if you, um, you know, put a hole into, you know, in it, it's mm -hmm. going to, uh, it's going, the filling's going to come out of it. And then to seal it, um, use your egg wash again. And the, that'll just help you get a good seal on your dough. And then you just fold it over. Folks, I have to say, you're going to go to a lot of restaurants. 
and they're going to bring these things in frozen and fix them for you frozen. Not at Williams & Wilson. They're going to make it fresh for you by hand uh, in the kitchen. So you need to come down and try. You have, you have vegetable wontons and pork and wontons. And pork wontons. Okay, so you have two different ty types that you can try. So come on down and try them. And with our pork wontons, we use a, a whole pork shoulder. We use a dry rub on it, mm -hmm. and uh, we roast it, slow roast it overnight. Wow. And we put it on a bed of celery, it's called a mirepoix, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's a bed of celery, um, carrots, onions, uh, fresh herbs, mm -hmm. again, and a uh, little vinegar in it. And we just crimp the edges. This also helps you get a tight seal. And this is in um, a lot of different countries doing this. You can mm -hmm. tell or who makes them by how they seal. People okay. will have their own method and their different way of doing it. So we're putting these in the fryer. And about how long are we gonna fry these? Well, these you, you judge more of the color. Okay. Um, because it, it, that's a quick item. Okay. So once they get golden brown, mm -hmm. Um, then they're ready to. to well, the filling's to come already out. the filling's cooked, so you don't the have to worry about that. The filling's pre-cooked. You're just trying to get a crispy crust around on the wonton wrappers. Correct. Mm -hmm. And now, Robbie, what do you what do you serve Some these wontons. with? Uh, the wontons come with a grainy mustard and a Thai chili sauce. Ooh, very nice. All right, our mustard sauce. We put right in the center. And this is a little bit different than what mm -hmm. you would get in the in the dining room, mm -hmm. and then our Thai chili sauce. And you know, uh, n not enough can be said about quality presentation. People eat with their eyes, and so when, yes, you, when you see a good looking plate of food come out to you, it just enhances a dish that much more. Now Robbie, uh, we've seen the chicken cordon bleu, we've seen the wontons, but now the part of the show that everyone is hoping and praying that we get to, and that is the desserts, the sweetest part uh, of the show, sweetest part of the meal, and that's the sweets. And of course, like we said, uh, not only are the sauces and pretty much everything at Williams Homemade, uh, so are the desserts, and that just makes a meal that much better. What do you have for us? Well, well uh, this is our, our standard menu, um, dessert menu items right now. We are gonna incorporate some different ones. Um, looking at doing key lime pie, mm -hmm. chocolate mousse, mm -hmm. and uh, we will have a cheesecake. Uh, but what we have today, this is our, our bread pudding, homemade bread pudding, and uh, we make it with our, our actually our yeast rolls. You mm -hmm. use day old bread as the typical mm -hmm. way yeah. um, to, to make your bread pudding with a homemade custard, mm -hmm. apples, uh, is what we put in it. Uh, bread pudding is actually very forgiving. You can mm -hmm. use raisins, nuts. Uh, whatever you like in so it. So there's a touch of that savory and a lot of that sweet. A lot so of it's sweet. Really tasty. We use yeah. brown sugar and, and mm -hmm. white sugar, heavy mm -hmm. cream. Mm -hmm. um, and this is our uh, our Fenner bars, Williams bars. And that's a yellow cake layer with uh, roasted pecans. Mm -hmm. And then there's a cream cheese layer. Um, cream on cheese. Top. Cream cheese is one of those things that you can incorporate in just about any dessert and it really makes it really tasty. Really tasty. Yeah. And these are our chocolate joys, mm. and that is with a chocolate layer with walnuts and coconut uh, graham crackers. Crust, and, a, a uh, crust. It's, it's a crust. It's almost um, almost like a brownie. Okay, and, it, um, and you said it has walnuts in walnuts it. Walnuts in it. Okay. This is uh, with walnuts and coconut mm. Mm. are the main ingredients in the mm -hmm. in the bottom layer, and then there's a vanilla custard layer in the center, and then chocolate ganache uh, wow. on top. It's wow. very very sweet. And this is our lemon custard. Wow. And it is served with, a, it is made with a, a shortbread layer, and that is more like a crust mm -hmm. on that one. And then a, a lemon, just a, a lemon custard on top. And we do use fresh lemon juice. It has lemon zest mm -hmm. in it. Wow. And so you put a whole lot of powdered sugar on that one to <laughs> knock down um, on the tartness. Take a little, a little bit. bit of the tartness away. So you have a little something for, for every sweet tooth, whether it be the bread pudding or something with a lot of chocolate in it. If and you like chocolate, that's that's the way to go. That's the way to go. And and you have some wonderful sauces that you make here that you that you add to these. We do, desserts. and I'll show you how we set up okay. our yeah, let's um, do uh, dessert sampler. Okay. Uh, if you want, and these are just want to show you these are our um, candied pecans that we use, and I don't know what a pecan is, so 
I don't, I, I don't either. I save I'm pecans. <laughs> and, and what do you? Uh, how do you do that? It's uh, you. It's just egg whites that you uh, uh, whipped, mm -hmm. uh, whipped to the uh, soft peaks, heavy peaks actually, and uh, then you use uh, sugar mm -hmm. and butter. And the the main thing about these is uh, the turning process. You cover it mm -hmm. in, in that mixture, then you put them in the oven, and you have to wow. um, turn them a lot. Try one of these. And these are what we put on our spinach salad, our baked brie. Oh, get that pecan, but it just, it's a perfect crunch all the way through. Right, it's roasted. That's the oh, secret wow. the, the turning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lot, lot, lots wow. of using the timer on that. I one. could just eat a cup of those. <laughs> I mean, those are really good. And folks, you can see how much time and effort and prep goes into each dish that they put together here at Williams. And um, it should show you how much they care about what they're doing. Uh, it should really be uh, a good reason why you need to get down here. And of course, your homemade whipped cream. That is our dessert sampler. This is your dessert I sampler. I forgot one thing. The homemade caramel sauce on the mm. bread pudding. The bread pudding is the only one that uh, we heat up. So there you go. We have the lemon square, the lemon chess, the Williams bar, chocolate joy, and bread pudding. Wow. Okay, so we are here in the kitchen and we have these beautiful vegetable wontons and uh, we're gonna try these now you've got this mustard on them and I'm just I'm just gonna pick it up with my hands because that's always the best way to eat mmm shows over I'm just gonna stop right now <laughs> no we have wow. dessert. <laughs> can't can't I, stop yet I can taste everything that you told me is in there I, I get a little bit of all of that and the first bite I mean is incredible it's crispy and then the mustard and a little spice with mm -hmm. the Thai chili. With that chili sauce, really, really tasty. Those are really good. You need to come try those up. I mean, that's something else. That's really good. Thank you. Now we have to go for dessert. Oh, I get a clean for me. Very nice. All right, so let's see. What, what do we want to go well, for I'm, first? I'm the chocolate guy, so. You're the chocolate I, guy. I would always say chocolate, but. My wife likes chocolate too. And since um, she's not here, I definitely have to do this for her. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that, and this really wasn't planned. But uh, you can, if you know what your wife's favorite cake is, whether it be German chocolate, cheesecake, give me 48 hours, and we can make it for her. That is awesome. The coconut really kind of comes through right at the end and goes really well with all the other stuff. Now, let's go for the bread pudding. Mmm. Wow. Again, it's everything. I mean, all the stuff you told me is in there. It's all there. And to have that caramel sauce with it, let's go with this one too. That one's one of our biggest sellers. The, yeah, uh, the, the Fenner the bar. bars. Williams bars. That's a really classic dessert. Really good taste. That's perfect. That goes great with a cup of coffee, too. They all do. They all do. And then the lemon square. And this is the perfect dessert to lick the plate. See that plate? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to leave any of that. Mm. The crust on that is perfect. That is so good. Robbie, I can't say thank you enough. That, thank this you has truly been in. a treat. It's all homemade. It's all here at Williams & Wilson. And I mean, you guys do it from scratch every we do. day. And you guys have a we great do. lunch menu. You do blue plate specials every day. Correct. You have a lot of things going on here and the best dinner menu in town. I mean, well, it, it is it's absolutely tremendous. Please get down here and see them. Tell them that you saw Robbie, you saw Bill on TV. You got to try this stuff the wontons, the chicken, 
anything that you see, uh, it's going to be del delightful. So thanks for tuning in. We're going to go catch up with Bill, and I will be right back after this. Williams & Wilson, an enchanted restaurant in the heart of downtown. We feature fresh and house-made items such as our pork and vegetable-filled wontons and our one-of-a-kind cheesesteak egg rolls. Our Cuban sandwich with house-made pickles is a local favorite. Or stop in for dinner and enjoy our pan-seared duck breast with scallops. Whether it's lunch or dinner, think Williams & Wilson for that next wonderful meal. Fine food, spirits, and a good time await you at Williams & Wilson, 124 Barn Street, Wilson. Ann's Donuts serves the best donuts in town because we fix them the old-fashioned way. From cream cheese filled to our famous chocolate glazed, Ann's Donuts are second to none. But Ann's is also a specialty baker. Wedding cakes, birthday cakes, ice cream cakes, custom design for your event. You must also visit our gift shop filled with gifts and holiday decor for your home and office. We have scarves, jewelry pocketbooks, holiday wreaths, and more. Come see us for your next sweet treat. Ann's Donuts, serving our area since 1952. The best kept secret in town is the Chew and Chat Cafe, classic southern cooking with style. Start your day right at Chew and Chat Cafe with a plate of eggs cooked your way or with our infamous hobo breakfast sandwich or make the Chew and Chat your regular spot. Our daily specials and homemade recipes are one of a kind with prices that can't be beat. From our hand patty burgers to our homemade chicken pot pie, shrimp creole, and pimento cheese, Chew and Chat is sure to be a great meal. And Friday night is fish night, featuring fried flounder, trout, and catfish, and our homemade banana pudding. We use local ingredients and cook everything fresh to order. So stop waiting and head on down to Chew and Chat Cafe, 1005 West Mountain Drive in Rocky Mountain, or call us about catering your next event. Open Monday through Saturday, 6 a.m. to 2 p.m., and Wednesday through Friday for dinner, starting at 5. Chew and Chat Cafe. Classic Southern cooking with style. Okay, guys, well, we're out here on the patio of Williams of Wilson, uh, uh, one of the great open areas you have here at the restaurant. I'm here with Bill Finner, and you're you're the owner of the restaurant. Well, yes, yes, thank you, thank you so much, and, and I appreciate y'all coming by and giving our establishment a little look, see, and seeing how we do things here. Well, Bill, we we certainly enjoy taking a look around, seeing what you guys do. You really have some great things going on here. Well, thank you. We're pretty proud of the food that we do. I mean, you've seen you've seen how we make our wontons, mm -hmm. and we put that same kind of care and um, a handmade approach to most of everything mm -hmm. we make in-house. Huh? If we make it in-house, it becomes ours. Mm -hmm. um, we can do a little something to it. What I'm looking for is uh, I want your dining experience to have a little wow factor to it, a little Williams & Wilson, um, that you take a bite and you go, oh wow, that's not what I was expecting or mm -hmm. that's a better, you know, that's better than anything else I've ever had. Huh? Yeah. And we do that by making it ourselves, not by opening up a box and mm -hmm putting it on a plate. And it comes through. I mean, I, I, I had a little bit of everything that, that, that Robbie showed us back mm -hmm. there. And wow, I mean, that's all I can say because it, it comes through. And like you said, you know, you can go out to eat to eat, but you can go out to eat and dine. Right. And spend the same amount of money right. both ways. Well, I mean, products cost what products cost, but you know, it doesn't cost any more to put care mm -hmm. into what mm -hmm. you do. And do it the right way. And do it the right way. And that's what we're focused on here. Is, is doing it the right way. Of course, we've only been open a few months, and you know, when we first opened up, we had to kind of go through some rough spots and figure out that what we wanted to do with something didn't work, mm -hmm. and we needed to do something different. And you know, we're working with staff trying to teach people how we want our food approach and mm -hmm. how we want it serviced. And I think we've kind of got 90% of that behind us. Mm -hmm. um, we haven't had those occasions where we're going to have 300 people all in here at one time when we get there we'll work through those mm -hmm. too absolutely well we, we we had some of the some of the items that you've already prepared for us right. but you do so many other things too you even have a lunch menu and a spe and a blue plate special every right day. right right we do a blue plate special every day um when i was younger and and was working a lot i, I love to go out and eat uh, uh what we called a meat and two mm -hmm. for lunch and it was very affordable and i've tried to bring that back to the lunch crowd to make a very affordable mm -hmm. lunch offering that's a, a a meat and two vegetables on a daily basis mm -hmm. i rotate them around we do a meatloaf which we make in house we do a spaghetti which we make in house um, we do a hamburger steak with a vegetable casserole um, on, we 
do a ro open faced roast beef sandwich and a fried catfish mm. platter on Friday. So mm. there's something every day. Um, but the rest of my lunch menu is all priced under ten dollars. Mm -hmm. And we our Cuban sandwich has been very very popular. And it's again it's a in house roasted Cuban um, pork loin with a Cuban spicing on it, with a homemade pickle and a homemade spicy mustard. It's been very, very popular. And I, in fact, I've had people from Miami, uh, Southern Florida area say that's one of the best Cubans they've wow. ever had. And they've had Cubans all, you know, most of their life. So. Well, you know, we've said it I, countless times, but you know, what, we were back there, we had the wontons and we had the mustard with it. It's so, so, so good. I mean, and it's because it's made here. It works. Right, right, right. I mean, we take a, a mustard base, but we blend it to be our own mustard. Mm -hmm. We add the spiciness to it that we want um, to highlight the Cuban mm -hmm. sandwich, to highlight the wontons, mm -hmm. and uh, I think it, I think we do a really good job with it. Yeah, there's unique flavors. It's going to be a unique experience. Right. It's going to be food that you may have had before, but you've not had it like this. Well, that's that was our whole purpose was to take food that we were comfortable mm -hmm. with and and then give it a little bit of a unique twist, mm -hmm. a little bit more of an up jump on it. Um, and like I said, we're looking for that wow factor mm -hmm. when you take a bite, going, oh, wow, that's that's really something yeah. that, I, that um, I really enjoy. Mm -hmm. and, and it's a high quality, and we put a lot of care into it. Um, our desserts are all made in-house. We make our own whipped cream. We make our own caramel mm -hmm. sauce. All the desserts themselves are made in-house. And I think it shows when people take a bite of them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, we, we had a, a chocolate dessert back yeah. there. And the base of it had coconut and walnuts and just so many different layers of flavor in it. And that's something that is very unique to Williams. And, you know, now that the weather's warming up, you can come out here and enjoy sitting outside, eating outside. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we've got a, I've, the only place in Wilson you got a lighthouse view. And uh, I've got a whale over here on top of the uh, building across the street. So come out here on Thursdays, I'm going to have whale watching and lighthouse tour specials with uh, seafood baskets and a couple of beers for 15 bucks. That's, you can't beat that. No, no. That's... You have a great bar too. I mean, you got a lot of options. Um, you know, it, there's not a reason that you don't need to try Williams. No, no, there's not. Um, I, I think that we're, our food is, is really top notch. I, I, we're really proud of it. Um, our, my service staff is working really hard to give mm -hmm. people great service. I've got a really nice outside seating area that uh, people can enjoy. Um, we just have to let people know that we're open yeah. and that the uh, menu that we're doing has a little something for everybody. And when are you open, Bill? Well, we open 11.30 to 9.30, Monday through Saturdays. Um, once the weather gets warmer, we'll probably be open on Sunday afternoons. And then on the weekends or when I have late night entertainment, we open, we stay extended open past the 9.30 hour. Mm -hmm. um, typically, you, we're open till you know, one, 1 o'clock or so mm -hmm. on when there's entertainment. Mm -hmm. And again, you can come down here to Williams. You can get a, a great great sandwich. You can get a great lunch. And you come down here for a mm -hmm. tremendous dining experience. Right, right, right. Well, we've added um, baskets. we got uh, wings. We're doing nachos. I'm doing mm -hmm. a Carolina-style nachos, which... Oh. Um, I'm using our, our in-house kettle chips, okay. fried crispy with our in-house chili, covered in our cheese sauce that we make in-house, topped with diced um, onions and diced tomatoes wow. with jalapeno, sour cream, guacamole, and um, salsa on the side. And it's quite an interesting flavor. I knew wow. that when we tasted those, we said, oh, these are going to be very, very popular once yeah. people get used to them. Wow, I, that sounds tremendous. I mean, yeah. you come down here on a nice warm day, get that, get a couple of beers, and just enjoy the weather. Right, right, right. And the company of friends. Absolutely. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on in downtown Wilson um, during the spring and summer and fall. And it's a great time to come to Williams before an event, maybe the downtown mm -hmm. live, or join, come over here after the event. So Coming after the event, if um, you're coming downtown to shop or look at some of the specials, the sidewalk special, mm -hmm. there's a sidewalk sale this weekend. Mm -hmm. And we intend to have some specials um, out here on the patio if the weather's real nice, and uh, try to play, you know, provide a place for people that when they're downtown, they want to stop and get some refreshments. They're hungry. They just want to meet some friends mm -hmm. and socialize a little bit. Absolutely. Uh, that's what we're here for. Absolutely. We also have to mention that you do catering. We're doing some outside catering. Um, again, we've only been open four months. We're really kind of baby stepping into any mm -hmm. catering events. I am doing, uh, going to be a, a participant in the Taste of Wilson. So we're looking forward to doing that. Yeah. And um, we do most of our catering that we're doing right now, we're doing in-house. I've got a small room in here mm -hmm. that 
lends itself to receptions, baby showers. So you can parties. host a party here. So we're hosting a party. So most of the catering that we're doing is basically in-house mm -hmm. catering. Um, I hope to grow that and become um, outside catering business, but I'm going to let that develop on its own. Um, I'm busy right now just trying to make sure that people know that we're open and they come down here for a great dining experience. And any of the desserts you have, you can also get those uh, to take home with you. Right. Well. All my desserts are available in a takeout package of minimum of 12, and we have a special pricing on that to make them very attractive to people who have a, having a party or they're going to a party, want to take mm -hmm. a little something give us a call, we'd be glad to whip up a batch of desserts. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves a good dessert. Absolutely. Well, folks, you've heard it from Bill. Williams & Wilson is uh, one of the premier places to eat in Wilson, right. and you need to come down here, you need to try it. It's house-made, it's made here at the restaurant. There's so many different things, it's something for everybody. And uh, at the end of the meal, there are homemade desserts that you can get. Well, I hope everybody does come down. I hope the people that come down enjoy it. and. Um, you know, we look forward to being here for years and years and being a cornerstone um, for the downtown Wilson mm -hmm. community. Uh, the merchants are down here waiting on people, and people who come down are going to want a place to uh, have a bite and, and gather their stuff and get together. So um, I'm looking forward to being down here for years and years. Absolutely. Well, come check out Williams & Wilson. Bill, we really appreciate the time all today, right. and we appreciate all, all of the, the inside looks at what you guys do. Well, thank you. Thank you, Andrew. All right. And, Hey, just if you come down, tell me Andrew sent you. I'll know where you came from. <laughs> we'll see you next time on Blue Plate Special.